Hope you're having a good Halloween, folks. Uh, it's actually midnight now. No, it's 2 a.m. again, as usual, and I'm gonna have a look at your pumpkins. So the carved pumpkins. Why do I sound so excited? I'll have to scroll up here. I hope I don't miss one, though. That's a cool one, a red one. And then here is another one. Pumpkin Sven from Sven. Here's Draco Socard's cool drawing here. Like that one. See, there was no blend file for this one. Here we've got Dead Eyes Ducks. I like that one with the teeth. Nice one. Shaglish. And then here's Al Einstein. Let's go grab that one. So this one's from Rossi Bossy. Nice one. Here's a good one too from Major Parts. And Zerg. I'm gonna randomize all of these. Hopefully I'll get into a good export routine. And here's one from uh, Dragonfy. Dragonfy? Dragonfy? I can never say names. I should never say names. Oh, I like that one. The square one as well. Arvid. Nice work. So let's go with that one. Here's a monitor as well. I won't be able to put that one on the head. That'd be funny though. More pumpkins. This is uh, <laughs> a pumpkin eating a pumpkin. Drax has got one without a preview. That'll be a surprise. Here's another one from Draco. A Draco lantern. And another one. Nihil. That means something, but I can't remember what to do. <laughs> this is funny. I like the glasses and the hat. Pennywise pumpkin. Oh yeah, I see that. Now we've got it here. Now we'll just import, I guess, all of these. Append. I like that. Nice work with the carving. I should name these. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to name them by your names, so I'll just uh, import them one by one here. Append. I'll uh, link the hats, I think, to the one with the glasses. Merge this and that one to that face, I think. Control J to merge it. Control J. I just have to keep them uh, merged to make it a little bit easier to assemble it all together. I like here, uh, you've all uh, operated on the same scale here so far. That's cool. There we go. And we have to rotate you, so I'll just do tab, rotate Z, minus 90. And then we bring the material, control L, materials. Oh, I always do it the wrong way. So, control L, materials. Alt G. Oh, that one's uh, a bit split somehow. Is it the interior? Oh yeah, it's the interior. So I'll just link this. So I shift select that one, control J, control L, materials materials and then here alt g alt r tab a rotate z oh nice lovely carving with the eyes as well control l materials okay they seem to be part of the same object here oh yeah that's the one that's eating another one i'll just press control j to link these together if i can okay this one seems to be a bit broken i'm afraid I think something happened with the... I'll do Alt or Shift N here. Select this one, Shift select this one, Control minus. I think that fixed it. And then Control J to link. Okay, that one doesn't work either. Is it got auto mirror on or something? It's got a boolean. Control A to apply that one. Control A, Control A. And then now Control J. That should do it. And now we need the material over. This box we can get rid of. Control L materials. There we go. I think that should do it. Thanks, that was in a perfect format. Thanks, Arvid. Tab A, rotate Z minus 90. And then shift select, Control L material cross. Control L material. Move it up. There we go. Nice, perfect format. Thank you for that. Another nice one here. Rotate, minus 90, control A, rotation, shift select, control L, material. All the scales have been pretty similar, actually. Cool. Let's bring that one. It's also got the correct material already. Another one. Control L, materials, and sort it. Oh, I remember this one. This one was cool as well. <laughs> control L, material. Love it. Shift select, control L, materials. Tomkin instead of pumpkin, cool. What's this uh, background thing here? Not sure. Oh, it's got, that would work. Try that. Oh, I, have, I haven't rigged this guy. So now I have to do that.
go into post mode for this one. And that's going to be it. For the head, we're going to attach that in Unity, so I'm going to leave that as is. So we'll do a child of constraint armature bone head and then set inverse. There we go. Control tab there. Post mode. That's it. And then we rename this to armature armature carvy. Okay, next thing, we'll do a walk animation here then. For him. Animation. Dope sheet, switch to action editor. And now, let's lunge himself forward and shove his hand up his face. And A here, I'm going to do Shift E and then loop. Clear cyclic. So this is an animation where he just takes his hands, shoves it up his head, and I'm going to detach it now and have it linked in unity to his uh, fists instead. Okay, that's the throwing motion. I think we're sorted now. A select everything. Export FBX. Selected objects. Unit scale. Y forward. Z up. And apply unit. Bake animation. Yes. All right, guys, so I've taken all your nice looking carved pumpkins head, jack-o'-lanterns or carved pumpkins or whatever they're called, and I've exported them all as FBX files. And I've created a little simple animation now for a walk animation, idle animation, taking the head off and throwing it forward. And now we're going to switch into Unity and have your beautiful creations put into there. So let's make Carvey do some stuff in Unity as well. So again, thanks a lot so far for your beautiful pumpkins. Okay, so if we press play here, Yeah. Let's import uh, our Carvey now. There we go. And we can move him a little bit maybe to the side here. And now it's just a matter of making these children here. So I'll uh, right click and do uh, prefab unpack completely. Now we're going to take all of these heads, shift select them to there. And then expand root, spine one, spine two, head. And then we're going to make them children to there. And then we can hide most of them for now. There we go. So, but we'll rescale them down to 0 0.8 maybe. No, 0 0.7. For this one, I'm not going to do the bold script, I don't think. Should I? No, I'll do a script, I think, for this. It'll be faster. Control D to duplicate this one. Carvey controller. Let's edit it. Okay, so for this one, we'll just have to modify the script a little bit. We have to add an animator here. Animator. Then we have to create an uh, animation controller here. Control D. Name this one Carvey. Anim controller. And he's not going to be able to jump. We can get rid of uh, the jump blend tree and he's not going to run either. He's going to have an idle here, which is going to be armature carvey idle. And we have to set these to loop as well. So meshes carvey animations. Let's see, we've got idle. We want to loop this one. And walk loop. And that worked as well. It seems to be going by alphabetical order. So put your T pose if you want as your uh, put an A in front of it or an underscore or something to make sure that's you don't have to do that little fix then for the uh, reposing the guide, which is pretty good. So here I'm going to do right click blend state from empty transition to here. If speed I'll do. Speed is greater than zero zero one. And then for this animation, we want Carvey walk. And then transition back if speed is less than 0 0.01. 
and we don't need exit time no exit time there either carvey animation controller we don't want root motion he's got his idle position there and we need to get him a rigid body as well maybe i'll just copy the hero controller here so can i control select this no so box collider copy component carvey paste component as new okay it's a bit choppy like that because we need to enable uh Interpol interpolation rigid body interpolate and he was moving forward a little bit too fast so let's make him slower speed multiplier four okay he's getting stuck on those so we'll have to copy the other one here as well we had the <clears throat> little sphere collider copy component paste component as new and here for the animation, let's do mathf.abs. Thanks for the tip. I can't remember who said that, but I don't know why I didn't do it last time. But we just need to get the absolute value of the speed there to animate it properly. Okay, and now we just need to modify this one. So instead of the horizontal input, we'll always make him walk, I guess. And then stop when he encounters... Uh, a ledge still moving a bit too fast speed multiplier just one then I should do And he should turn around now. Yeah. And hopefully he'll turn around over here as well. Now we should be able to try all the different heads. I'll do a little helper script here just to cycle through the heads, I think. And I'll do an array here. And then we'll just do a private int index. If input get key down, and we'll just do a tab key code. Tab. Then we'll do index plus plus. If index is greater than heads dot count is greater or equal to then index equals zero. Oh, length, because it's in the right. And then we do for tab tab is less than heads dot length. Heads i dot set active and then we'll do i equals index. And that'll be true if i equals index and they'll set it to false if it's not index. So every time we press tab now, okay, first we need to link these. We can put it on uh, the base here. It doesn't have to be on the head. So head, cycle head. And then I press a little keypad here, select all of these heads, and then just go to there. And then enable the default head here maybe. Now when we press tab every time, then we can actually go into full screen mode here. Tab. Then we cycle through all these heads here. Hey! Glasses and a hat. So we don't really see the sides, of course. Since it's a side uh, game. Uh, 
That worked pretty good with the shield on his back. Okay, that's uh, cycled through. Thanks a lot, guys, for submitting your carved pumpkin heads. So a little carvy enemy guy now is uh, wearing those heads. It randomized a little script called Cycle Head allows us to press tab here to cycle through the different heads that you've created. And also when the game starts, it'll just pick one of the random heads and attach that one. And it's a simple child object now of the head bone in the hierarchy. So that's why it works so easy. We don't have to wait paint it or anything like that. It's literally a separate object here that's just attached to uh, that bone or yeah, made a child of it. And it makes it really easy. If you wanted to drop the head off, basically you just unparent it and it'll roll off as long as you have a collider and a rigid body on it. And on top of that, we did a little simple attack animation as well. And I uh, separated the upper body with the layer mask for the generic rig. And um, when it detects it, it has a little uh, a checker region in front of it. And if that collides now with the, with the player, then uh, it'll uh, engage the attack animation. And then we also have a trigger collider on the heads when all the pumpkins got their own trigger collider with a little script on it as well. And that script will basically look, is this a hero? And if it is, execute the ragdoll method that's uh, made public there. And that swaps out the, the player now for a ragdoll. So the project could do with a lot of fixing up. Uh, it's uh, missing a lot of things, but it, at least some of the core basics are in place now. We've got uh, a, a player that can run and jump. We've got some enemies that can knock you out. In order to make this into a complete game, you'd have to spend a little bit more time, obviously, to, to polish things up and add more mechanics and uh, maybe have uh, the AI, if you want to call it that, a little bit smarter so they don't just uh, keep walking if they bump into each other. But what I've done is I've taken this project now, I've zipped it up just as it is now, and I've put it on my Patreon page. So if you think that this could be of use to you, go to patreon.com slash infensia, and for the $2 tier, which is the tutorial tier, you'll be able to download this project just the way it is. And then if you want to build on it from there, learn from the Bolt scripts or even the C-sharp scripts there, take it as it is and uh, have some fun with it. So uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I will see you in a video soon again. And again, thanks a lot guys for submitting your carved pumpkin heads and happy Halloween. Bye for now.